Welcome back to a brand new video and today we're going to be installing my neatest consumer unit that I've done so far and I want to show you how you can improve your consumer units as well. So we're going straight in for the first tip and it's about the preparation. Now what I've done when I've done my first fix is done a little trick with all round band from joist to joist and then use zip ties and then cable tied my cables in order where they're going to go. So they're all coming down exactly where I need them to in the consumer unit. So the next bit to install in the consumer unit, I've installed a back in now this is not needed on every board and it's probably a bit over the top on this one but I got a cable coming from the bottom and potentially other future ones so I've actually turned this back and plate upside down so my cables come from the bottom and all of these ones are just going to go into the top of the board um, so yeah even though it says this way up and it's upside down it's still going to be okay so as most of our cables are coming through the top uh, luckily with the Navitas board we've got a load of knockouts but I am only going to knock out the ones uh, that I need to just to save the integrity of the board um, I know they're designed to be knocked out but if I can help not knocking them out I will uh, so yeah let's get knocking them out right so the first one is going to be by here so we're just going to get my big screwdriver my basher screwdriver hammer and hit it boom first time love it so sometimes after you knock them out the where the welds were you have like a little bit i should say so if you're going to put like fire rated grommets in which we are on top it's just nice to go over them with a hole sort of get rid of that bit and it's easier to get a fire rated grommets in Bosh. And that's why you should buy a good quality board. So I've just been hammering crap out of that and it's still straight as you like. And you can find with the cheaper boards, uh, it'll just mangle. So all the grommets are in, so it's time to get the board on the wall. So all I'm gonna do is just slide them up and then poke the cables through the grommets. I don't wanna be slashing them with a knife to open them up. I just want them to kind of like, not grip the cable, but be around the cable. Right, so these are gonna be your best friend now. Uh, we're gonna strip all the cables before the board's actually going up so we're not struggling inside the board so i'm just going to go around clip 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 job done so when the board goes up i can just pull off the sheath in and happy days so all right so a bit of a struggle not gonna lie to get all the cables down but we're pretty much there now i've left about a 12 to 15 mil gap for the plasterboard to go in um i'm not waiting for them to plasterboard the ceiling i haven't got time for that so yeah that's on they can get their plasterboard where they want and if there's a little gap cork it job done so we did a bit of a mess up we forgot the five mil nuts for the backing plate so camera guys just popped out and got them so we're gonna get them now so when he was gone i just got the mains in the tails ready to go for the board and i've just used some linear clips to go around all three cables and then i'm just getting the earth back on where it was used a bit of heat shrink obviously lugged it on and just getting it tightened back up now right so i'm ready now to strip all the cables i've took out this the, the middle section just to make it easier to work with and what i'm going to do is get all my earths in first and get all my lives and neutrals in position so when we get the bar in it's just going to be easy wiring What am I doing? Stripping all the cables and pulling off the sheath in. So I'm going to get all my earths in first. And because I've already stripped the tops, it's giving me a nice clean finish and I'll be able to push them back up and make it all look nice and neat. Right, so we've got all the sleeving on all my CPCs and we're using, I think it's two mil. The smaller the sleeving, the better. Makes it look neater. And I'm going to get my main earth and my two bondings into the board and then we're going to get all these CPs in as well. So yeah, get these in first and then we'll jump onto these. So what I'm going to do with the first earth is this is going to dictate all the other sizes on my earths. So I'm going to get a loop in at a reasonable size. So that's Seems good to me. Do I show you from front on? Come around. It's going to be about there. So all the other ears will be the same size. So I'm going to cut that like so. Now chop my finger off. And then that is going to be it. So when you're doing consumer units, these should be the most important tool you use. Torque screwdrivers. Now it is really, really important we use these. And on this Navitas board, we got all the new Newton meters that we should be doing each screw to. So I've set this one to two and I've just got in my gas bonding. So I'm just going to do that until it clicks. Boom, that's now the correct torque. So I'm just almost finishing up my earths now, going into the terminal. Little tip, uh, if you've got a ring final circuit, label up one set, so one leg. So I got ferrules on one leg and on the earth, 
there. So if you come to do your ring final testing, it just you just know which legs what and it just makes it easier. So yeah, nice little tip that. So moving on quickly now, we're on to the next tip and it is ready for the RCBOs and connecting them up because all the CPCs are done. And I'm getting Lenny's glove from Mice and Men and just going down it to make all my conductors straight. So it's gonna make it a lot neater. To spend a couple of minutes doing this, it's gonna make a hell of a difference on how it looks. And all you're doing is just basically straightening them all out and get them all nice and straight so they're not curved up and you get them all coming down perfectly. So it's time we're getting the RCBOs in now. So we're just gonna clip them in one by one and connect each circuit up. But do you know what everything means on an RCBO? So we've got loads of stuff on it. And usually we just look at like B32 and it's a 6K8. But you've got all the other symbols. And if you don't, we did cover this in a WhatsApp newsletter, fairly recent, um, leave it up on screen now. But if you're a bit unsure, go and check that out. So we're gonna be uploading all previous editions. So you can look back through some. So yeah, go and sign up and uh, take a look. So when I'm getting dressed in my cables in, I've set my first one on there and I'm just gonna copy the bend on every single one now to get them all symmetrical and looking nice. When you come to the end, they should all be at the same spin or whatever you decide to do. Um, so yeah, that's what I, all I'm doing there. So we're on to the last breaker now. It is looking pretty neat. I'm gonna have to do a few finishing touches. But yeah, I'll show you this one now. So just get it in and then all I'm doing, same as everyone, I'll probably move that one to the side, bend my cables into place, copy in the other ones like that. And then obviously just cut them. Um, but I'm also putting feral numbers on. A bit over the top, I do admit. I think it's useful for the earths and useful for the fly leads, but you don't really need them on the RCBOs, but I just find them everything symmetrical. You know exactly what's what and everything matches up. So it's just one of those extra details that you can do if you want to. Right, so we're getting the bus bar in now. And a good little tip is this little inspection mirror. So when I drop it in, it's so easy to get one of these caught behind the RCBO buzz bars at the bottom and that's going to cause you issues like fires, arcing. So I'm going to show you in a minute, getting this in and then inspecting it with this. All right, buzz bar's in now. So what we're going to do, get the inspection mirror and all we're going to do, run it across and look in. I don't know where you can see that on there. See the buzz bar and just check in that it's not caught behind any of the connections. I think we're all good there. The ball's pretty much done now. Sorted all my fly leads out. I sometimes cut them, but I haven't in this situation. I've tucked them behind the back. So it's a little bit messier than what I wanted. Just done a little zip tie trick to separate them. Um, just keep them here. I know some people are going to go mad in the comments about it. That's that. And yeah, so we're just going to talk everything up now to the correct Newton meters. And that is the job done. We'll label the front of the board. And I want to show you a cool new label I got. And yeah, and this is almost one of the neatest boards I've done, if not the neatest. So I've just talked everything up to the correct Newton meters. Good thing just to double check all your connections, which I've gone and done. And then it's just a little finishing touches then for like your photo, if you want to take photos of your board. If you want to promote your business, it's a perfect opportunity you now to get, you know, make sure everything looks aesthetically right. So when you upload the photo, customers go, oh, that looks nice, that looks good. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then we're going to print off the labels to the front cover. So let's go and do that. So this is a new brother labeler. Um, it's about 200 odd quids and then obviously all the cartridges. But the good thing about this, you can print off your own like board schedule thing at the bottom and you can put on it what you want. And obviously I've laid mine out exactly what it is. So like all the fonts exactly the same and it just looks like super neat and it can just take your board level to that next step again. Again. So yeah, highly recommend that. So we're gonna get this stuck on now and lovely stuff. So I'm all done now. I hope you've enjoyed this video and picked up some tips on how to make your consumer units look better. I'm gonna chuck a couple more safety labels that no one cares about on this now and leave you guys to it. So thank you for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe.